a cheeky question perhaps to finish with for you paul but you know what what would it take you to convince convince you that this isn't just a, a great mystery but potentially a a personal agency a, a divine mind a creative mind behind the universe i mean that may raise more questions than it answers for you but but what what would take you sort of from just this being a huge mystery to be enjoyed to, to something that could even be experienced, you know, as many religious people obviously feel they do. Uh, yes, uh, I've never had a religious experience. Uh, and I won't ever have one. Um, and what do I say to people who have had them? It's like uh, when people say, um, I've never been in love. And you say, well, it's a very real thing. It's a very real experience. And you can't just shrug it aside just because it never happened to you. Um, but I suppose at the end of the day, I always put my physicist hat on and think, well, um, uh, that if what we're talking about is something uh, where uh, God or some agency or something supernatural or something that transcends the universe somehow then um, zeroes in and does something, it gives me an experience or if it was a miracle or something uh, uh, extraordinary happening around me, um, uh, that that's that's not a, a type of uh, God that I feel very comfortable with. You know, God who, uh, as, as one uh, English bishop once described, it's like a laser beam God. Um, so, uh, you know, what would convince me? Um, I, it, would, it would have to be some direct experience. Uh, and, uh, and at this stage, I haven't had, had that. So what, what more can I mm. say? <laughs> 